and then one thing that kind of again leads you to see how people are not taking it seriously i think the other day was st patrick's day right um on friday was it friday the 13th was st patty's day or maybe on the saturday and for some unknown reason some most uh, quite a few americans actually thought it would be a good idea uh to head out to the bars and clubs in that in, in chicago for the most part and partake in st patty's day activities you can't really blame the americans that much i think if they're taking advice or if they're taking heed from what the president's saying and you've seen her, what Don Trump's been saying lately, he's been, you know, talking a lot of fluff when it comes to the situation. Maybe they kind of felt it's not as bad as it ish could be. So they have maybe a time to go out. And I get the impression, especially from the UK too, because I saw a lot of people going to see Dax J play at E1. It was meant to be Dax J and some other guy as well, but he dropped out. Um, so Dax J ended up playing an extended set. And I'm seeing a lot of people kind of, a lot of people went out there and partied and stuff. So I think there is a sentiment, I feel as if like on social, especially with the younger community, where they feel as if like this week and maybe next week is the last time you could probably go out. So they're going to party like it's 1999 and get on it, whatever it may be. And then, you know, knowing full well that most likely, to, more likely than not, you're probably going to be in a lockdown next week. I assume so. That's what people are doing. It feels like it. But anyway, this video just surfaced now on my Twitter as well that kind of shows exactly what the fuck is going on and how dire the situation is because people just aren't taking the situation seriously. So this is a, a video here from this journalist, I'm assuming, called uh, King Kraus, right? And he spoke to some young people who are celebrating the St. Patrick's Day um, festivities now and asked them why they're not taking it seriously. So I'm going to get her on the screen so you can hear and hear what they're saying. Worried that gatherings like this will potentially spread the virus? Yeah, you, you know what? I'm not worried. I know it will. Like, it's not like, like, it's not, it's not a question. <laughs> that's, that's not a question because it, it will definitely spread the disease. Although, sure, we'll a good um, interview. Let's go. you know, do what you can. You, if you're sick, don't go. If you, uh... Um, <laughs> You can't really take anyone seriously dressed up like that, and it's just like a little leprechaun. He's got his little St. Patrick's Day um suit on, with his little hat on, having a whale of a time. But I don't know, man. Like again, like I said, I think the war on intellectuals, the war on expertise, the war on specialists, and the fact that you have a president in like and again, that's probably why people are so sensitive to politicians and political um trends or whatever it may be. Um somehow they have a way of kind of permeating society right like if your leader is acting in one way and is a bit aloof and is a bit you know fly off the seat of his pants and just says what he says and you know off the cuff and doesn't read a teleprompter and kind of just like you know makes up facts and stuff then of course you're gonna have a nation of people who are a little bit oblivious they're a little bit um you know against maybe the status quo in that respects um they think life is one big game of business and investments or i don't know like when it takes all stuff it might have a way of permeating through society so this is probably a, a, a consequence of that overall or it just could be a a, a reflection of a, of a of a different country's responses to things right everyone's got a different way of responding to stuff some people just treat it differently like you know have you have you seen the difference between the you know the american american idol and you know x factor for instance two different two completely different shows isn't it like because of course the contestants make the show um and we have a different kind of uh way that we go about things and how we carry ourselves in the uk than maybe north america does so i don't know who to kind of blame for it but i don't know man if i was a young kid and i had access to the internet and i had social media and i was reading stuff online the last thing i'd be doing is like you know going to a bloody uh, st patrick's day event like i don't know I heard some people on Twitter like talking jokingly about, oh, they, I don't want Carnival to get cancelled, but I'm, I'm sure it's a kind of done in a kind of banter way. You don't necessarily care about Carnival, because again, like who's gonna go to Carnival when this stuff is still going on? Like, yeah. If, if you're worried about it, then don't go. If you do attend these, be in isolation after the fact. I'm like, doing it. I'm great advice. Do your part for the community. Are you worried that gathering? Jesus Christ! Another one here. Go back. Yeah. So, 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 oh, so what actually the actual tweet says here last week kingston police public health and queen's university urged students not to attend parties day at parties say the university district streets are filled with students many telling me they aren't afraid of covid19 imagine saying you're not afraid of a airborne virus you're not afraid of it as if it's like um i don't know as if it's some kind of creature that's going to come out and attack you in the streets how can you not be afraid of something that's not making any sense, does it? 
Uh, it says this tweet here says members of the Kingston Police are in the University District directing students onto the sidewalks and off the streets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. And imagine that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have sympathy for them too. Imagine. You see how difficult it's been for the Italian um, government to try and get people to listen. Oh no, the Spanish government actually. They've kind of enforced a strict lockdown now and they've kind of enforced the fine system that they have in Italy where if you get caught um, outside and you don't have a, a written permission, then you essentially have the potential to be fined up to 2,000 euros, I think, or something, right? Crazy. So they have they've put the strict measures in place because people are taking a piss and still going outside, especially if you, some people are using their dogs as an as excuse, right? Because I think you can get an exemption. You can get an, an, an exemption if you've got a dog and you want to take it for a walk. So people are taking advantage of that and going out and having a walk and shit, or going out because they're bored. Um, so people are being incredibly selfish, I'd say, or maybe self interest. So yeah, selfish really in this situation, and kind of uh, putting their own kind of uh, feelings above the possible health of others, which is mad, isn't it? But just imagine trying to herd a group of students off the streets of Chicago into their homes. It would be near on impossible. And then imagine trying to do that to a country that's already skeptical of the motives of the, you know, of the government and what they have in mind. It's just not going to happen, isn't it? So it continues here. It's this system, quote. but I'm still only 21. I don't want to say but so. I'm not. Even, I have a well, compromised I immune system, but I'm still only 21. But I'm not even worried because I just take supplements and like I self medicate, so it's fine. Yeah, she's she's definitely gonna wind up. I'm I'm sure that's not a real thing. But if she's not joking, then that girl's an absolute dumb nuts. But I'm sure it's a part of the bants in it. I'm sure she knows she's gonna be on camera. She's probably aware she wants to get a little viral moment. But as I think we've seen with this situation, it's not the time to kind of laugh and joke. I think memes are all good and all well and good. But in this situation where hundreds of thousands of people, I think some guy recently said that there's probably gonna be three three hundred thousand people I will die in America if this goes away. If it follows the same uh, pattern that is kind of followed in other places, um, up to three hundred thousand people might die. So it's gonna be a dark moment for all of us in <laughs> all of us included. So. I don't know. Maybe jokes aren't the right time for it. Maybe it is the right time because such a bleak moment. I don't know. But I'm sure she's bantering. I'm sure it's not real. And then here, continues here. Uh, the tweet says, I spoke to Kingston MOH uh, this morning and he confirmed that no COVID-19 cases in the city. This week, Dr. Moore said it's common to treat 100 additional patients in St. Patrick's Day and said this is not a year to be socially irresponsible as St. Patrick's Day prepares a potential COVID-19 impact. Jesus Christ. And there's another one. Away from large crowds uh, try not to touch people try to stay away from large crowds um, obviously I'm not trying to be a party pooper you know if you're gonna if you want to go out go out but obviously better to be safe than sorry in this case so there are some people out there who have dissents but again it's a bizarre situation man imagine wanting to go out that badly that you're gonna put your life in jeopardy it just doesn't make any sense in it 